I'm going to watch it. I'm going to see what it's like. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. That's cool. Wow. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Man. So, number one, it doesn't really tell you anything. You have no idea what's going on. I don't know why... It's not Galadriel's voice? No, it's not. It's just some random person. I hope this is good. But as I've said before with this Lord of the Rings series, I don't think it's going to be good. I think that they're trying to make Game of Thrones in Middle Earth. I just, I, I don't think it's going to be good. It's not about even go uh, get woke, go broke. Like if they have a Black Hobbit, I'm not going to be like, oh man, I hate the show now. Like, that's not the reason why I would be mad about it. I would be mad about the thing. I'd be mad about the show if it sucks. Like, if the show sucks and it's like this as a trailer. Oh, my God. I got to read the comments on this shit. What are people saying about it? I really hope they, Howard, uh, they hire Howard Stern to compose the music. Yeah, I, I think so, too. That'd be great. Um, very excited to see where the show goes. I'm quite ready for another adventure. I mean, this I, I've watched these guys' videos before. Uh, they're a Lord of the Rings channel. Of course, they're going to be excited about it. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. People are pretty happy about it. This is either going to be a masterpiece or a complete train wreck. No middle ground for TV shows like this one. I, uh, it's like, yeah, it also doesn't really make sense that it wouldn't, it, it's just, Literally zero likes. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're happy about it because they haven't seen anything Lord of the Rings related for over a decade. Like, I just felt like everything that wasn't the Peter Jackson movies, like the Shadow of Mordor and everything, I just felt like it was all fan fiction. Like, I had no, there was no reason really for me to play the games. It was just like, what is this? Like, this is weird. Like the Hobbit, like the, yeah, the Hobbit was kind of, I remember, bro, like, so we went to see The Hobbit because, like, my mom and my dad and I, every Christmas, would watch Lord of the Rings. Like, we went to the movie theater, like, for Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King. We went on Christmas to watch it, right? And then so The Hobbit comes out, and I'm like, well, yo, we got to go again, right? Like, this is, it's, it's part of the tradition. And I remember in the movie theater, fucking, like, uh, some crazy shit was happening. I look over, my mom's like this. <laughs> She's fucking asleep. I'm like, yo, wake up. This shit's going wild. She's like, uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I see that now. Yeah, it's going crazy. And, um, like, I mean, we obviously watched all of them. Yeah, it was a good thing. But, like, man, I feel like my main criticism for the Lord of the Rings series, my main concern with the Lord of the Rings series is this that they were talking about adding sex into Lord of the Rings. And I think that if that is a position that you have, you fundamentally misunderstand the purpose of Lord of the Rings. You fundamentally do not understand the purpose of the Tolkien of Tolkien's work. Right? You don't get it, man. And I can guarantee you that if like if you were to ask Tolkien now, like you go a time machine be like, uh, they're making a series about your books and they want to have sex in it, he'd probably say, oh no. You know, he would not be happy about that at all. It's going to be trash. I, I am very worried about this just being Game of Thrones and Middle Earth. Now, again, I'm going to watch it. 
I'm going to see what it's like. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. However, expectations are very low. As long as it's not terrible, I will be happy. That's basically it, man. Ring of Power really just cookings. Explicitly forbid any licensing uh, of his work and his will. I have no idea what the details for that is. I, I literally don't know. People love Game of Thrones up until last season. I think Game of Thrones was good until se uh, after, uh, season four. At the end of season four, season four was amazing. And then everything after that was downhill, except for like a few of the different episodes that were just like mainly action scenes, like Battle of the Bastards and, and, and shit like that, right? Uh, season four, the end of season four was the end of Game of Thrones being good. Everything after that was Game of Thrones being game of this other bullshit, right? And like, why is that? It's because it diverged from what the original work is, right? Like, guess what? Fucking two random dipshits. You are not George R. R. Martin. There's a reason why they're paying him to use his work. Don't go off script because you don't fucking know how to write a script. You know, like, like what, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Going and, and, and going off a script and doing things differently. Yeah, that, that's what happened. Is that they went off the script. And it's like, there's a reason why George R. R. Martin is a, a legendary writer that will be remembered in 50 years. Will the two guys that made the show be remembered in 50 years? Yeah, for fucking it up. That's about it. Know your fucking place. Don't change shit. Well, it, that's the same thing I feel about Lord of the Rings, man. I'm so worried. I'm so fucking worried. I hope so much that it's good. I really hope that it's good. Because I love Lord of the Rings. But damn, man. Like, I hope that it... Uh, not sure if it's a good thing, but Peter Jackson's not involved in the TV show. Yeah, and he shouldn't have been involved with The Hobbit. Guillermo del Toro was, I think, the original uh, director of The Hobbit. And then, like, he pulled out or something happened, and then Peter Jackson came in. I think it's good to have somebody new come in. Yeah, I I'm fine with that. That would have been amazing. Yeah, like, Pan's Labyrinth, like, uh, make it a little bit more mystical, which is, you know, that definitely is in line with it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, his version would have been sweet. Yeah, like... Del Toro would have been sweet, but uh, Suits suck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, he, that guy makes a lot of really good movies. Like, even, like, you go back to, like, watch Hellboy 2. Like, I think he directed Hellboy 2. Like, that shit was fucking lit. Like, especially, like, the, the scenery and just, like, everything about it was fucking amazing. Uh, Hobbit was already the best, but it still gets a little stiff. I've seen Smog CGI over, the, er, over these years later. Shouldn't have been its own trilogy. Yeah, it should have been two movies. Maybe one movie, right? And, uh, uh again, like, uh, one of the best sequels? Yeah, 100%. So, like, what I'm saying is, like, I, I hope it's good. I said before, like, I hope it's good. But that's about, it's about as far as I can go. I hope it's good. It was three because of the movie studio politics, apparently. I forgot. I thought it was Peter Jackson trying to, like, make it the same as Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, it it's hard to say. I think The Hobbit, like, it's not like it was bad. It's just bad whenever you compare it to Lord of the Rings. Like, if it was just, like, a, you know, a standalone movie, it would just be, like, another fantasy movie. It'd be, like, uh, it was on the same level as, like, Chronicles of Narnia. It's like, okay, all right, cool, right? But, like, you're not going to go back and think about that movie ten years later. It didn't warrant a trilogy. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. So, anyway, uh, guys, I, I got to go ahead and head out. I I'm going to have dinner with my dad. I wanted to get some of these reactions out of the way. Uh, thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you all later. Peace.